come with an update video on my bunion slash foot surgery. Um, today is, what's today? Today is Tuesday the 22nd. My surgery is tomorrow um, the 23rd and this is January. So I want to come on and give you guys an update. Um, I have my pre-op appointment that I wanted to share with you guys, but unfortunately i wasn't able to um record that so i'm just going to tell you a little bit about it right now okay the pre-op appointment was just appointment with the nurse that go over your health um records and any health problems you have or any health um health problems or anything your family your your mom or dad had or something like that just to, just some update stuff for um to make sure everything's okay when i go underneath the anesthesia tomorrow so and then we talked about um and then this appointment is just um like any blood works i need to be that needs to be done but i didn't need any blood work because i already had did it um when i decided to get the surgery so and it was recently so um it was back in october i believe um, so I didn't need anything, so that was good. And she just talked to me about what was gonna go on for a couple of for the she, she for the rest of the um until my surgery. She you know um I couldn't. What did she ask me? She said, "Well, yeah, I'm no drinking alcohol or anything like that. No smoking, but I don't smoke, so." And I only drink occasionally, so I might have a wine here and there. Um, so, and then what else we talked about? And then she talked about the medication, like ibuprofen and um, Advil, all them different type of uh, medication not to take. Um, and then she, um, what else we talked about? Oh, and she talked to me what uh, to be, you know, what to do the day, um, the night before I, the surgery. Like, make sure I take a shower. My hygiene is all good and stuff. And but I, you know, I take a shower anyway. But she's just a nurse, making sure, just giving me all the information she's supposed to be giving me. And then make sure I clean my feet off real good and stuff. Nail, no nail polish and stuff. So. Um, I got nail polish on my toes right now, so I'm going to remove that and then take a shower. And then, um, what else we talked about? And then we also talked about, um, oh, the day of. Oh, no, I can't. No, the night. Um, I can't drink or eat anything 12 hours before the surgery. Um, the day of, I can brush my teeth and, and brush my teeth and stuff and mouth use mouthwash, but nothing else. Um, if I need to take any medication that the doctor provide me, um, I can um take that with just a sip of water, just a sip, and um that's it. So my appointment is at. They call me Friday. Today is Tuesday. They call me Friday and let me know what time to sit my surgery, what time to be in for the surgery. So my uh, I'm supposed to be there at ten fifteen. So I'm assuming twelve o'clock is the surgery time. So that's where we're gonna be. So ten fifteen, we'll be at the hospital at Kaiser. Um, the Kaiser we going to is a little ways from my house, so we has to leave by maybe eight forty five. Um, so it's just me and my husband, and so um, yeah, that's it. So this weekend, this past couple of days, I just been cleaning up my house, getting everything in order, washing clothes, just just making sure everything is settled for my kids and my husband. So it's just like. It just was in me like, oh, I was just washing walls and just deep cleaning, just deep cleaning my house, getting prepared. Um, and um, we went grocery shopping, made sure we got a bunch of food in the refrigerator. And that's about it. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'm kind of a little bit nervous about this whole procedure, but I thank God that I have my husband by my side. He took off um, six weeks 
with me to take care of me and he will be coming to the hospital with me so I'm so thankful for that and I mean that's all I wanted was my husband to be there my mom asked me does she want you she asked me do you want me to be there and I was like no my husband's gonna be there like that's just my rock I mean if I'm in pain he's just right there he know how to consult me and make me feel better so that's all I want is my husband. So I thank God that he's here and he's a good man. So I appreciate him. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, yeah. So today I will be getting prepared tonight. It's about, what time is it now? Uh, about six o'clock now. So I'm out to eat. I don't know. I might wait till later to eat because I don't want to eat. Because <laughs> I got to wait. I won't be able to eat no more after 12. And my appointment is not until 10, so I'm going to be hungry when it comes to breakfast time. Um, So, I'm going to just wait until I might have a little snack or something before I go to bed at 12. But um, I'm going to eat dinner, spend some time with my kids. Um, um, I'm finished washing clothes and stuff. I'm trying to do my laundry for my bed and stuff. So, um that's all I'm doing right now. Um, so I'm going to try to vlog um, on my way to the hospital and when I get there, when they prep me and all that stuff. So you guys can see the experience with that. And I'm going to try to do vlog um, when I get home. So I'm kind of nervous, you guys. But I actually been watching a lot of videos and it's been helping me out a whole lot because I like to know what's going on. And I'm going to be asleep and I'm that person like, no, I want to be up and see what you're doing and all that. And I'm not going to be able to do that. So, it's, it's nerve wracking. So, yeah. Um, so, I'm just come on and check with you guys. So, if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. And I thank you for you guys for watching. Um, and wish me good luck, you guys. And I'm going to check you guys out soon. Bye.